been a while since high school, I've realized. And I just want to call all high schoolers to this video. Yes, my shirt does say school sucks because low-key it does suck. And yes, I am about to be probably a huge hypocrite because I am one that did not get through high school. Luckily, I found an online school and was able to switch over but if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't have finished because there was just so much stuff that was going on that I just literally physically and emotionally could not do it. Actually, my brother is a senior at the same high school that I went to and my mom called me on the phone and was like, yo, like, well, she didn't say yo, <laughs> but she was like, Ryan's really wanting to drop out of school and, you know, I remember those days when school was so freaking hard to the point where you've gotten so far but you're really just like high school is really only four years of your whole life and you've been going to school for 11 13 plus years like depending on whether like when you started if you were like four years old or like your age maybe you skipped a few years you know I don't know there's some smart kids out there I left when I was 16 I'm now 20 I didn't get a walking graduation because I was on an online school I didn't get a prom I didn't do any of that stuff and that's some stuff that when I was younger, that's stuff that I wanted to do. That was stuff that I looked forward to. So I wrote down some tips that I thought were some tips that I could have used in high school. So tip number one is go to class. You're probably like, Danny, what the heck? Obviously you gotta go to class if you wanna survive high school because if you don't go to class, you're not gonna graduate because you'll probably fail. Yes, that is completely true. Whether you know what the heck is going on or not, it's good just to be there. I mean, who cares? Maybe you don't like chemistry. Maybe you'll never ever need it. Maybe you'll need to retake it one or two times, like me. There's another thing. If you go to class, you won't have to retake any classes and your teacher will probably really love you because they don't have to spend another year with you, you know. Sometimes that happens, and it happened to me a few times. The advantages of going to class and sitting through class is your teacher sees that you have made an effort to walk through their classroom. Whether they are the most evil teacher, you are still there, and you are just sitting there. Now, whether you choose to listen is all up to you. If you go to class, your teacher is not going to necessarily always be like, why weren't you here? Or they'll be taking attendance, and they'll be like, Danny, and you're just like, not there, so they're like, oh yeah, she's never in class. You know, they give you that hard time. Regardless of the teachers, the students are also going to probably give you shit like, oh, Danny's not in class again, oh, she's not gonna come, oh, she probably just ditched and went to Starbucks, even though she's allergic and can't drink Starbucks, but that's an excuse to get the fuck out of that class. The next tip is to walk the halls. Now, obviously, again, you're probably like, what the hell are these tips? Obviously, you gotta walk the halls if you're gonna go to class to class, but how you walk the halls is how you gotta do it. First period to second period, all the way to seventh period, you obviously are going to be put in a situation where you're gonna cross people, you know? There's a lot of shit that happens in the hallways, whether it's people getting pushed up into lockers, whether it's boyfriend and girlfriend making out, whether it's two people getting into it. One girl squirts her breast milk at one other girl because she said something. Yes, that did happen to one of my friends, but yeah. Walk through the hallways like you don't give a crap about what any what is going on, whether you are failing a test, whether you just broke up with your boyfriend in high school, just walk through those halls like you own it. Like one day, you're never gonna see these people again, so you know what? Fuck it, be flossy, you know? Like, my lip gloss is popping. On a more serious type note, a really good tip, actually in high school, is to join a sport, a club, or an activity. This way you'll find, you know, decent friends that might like the same stuff as you. There's a lot of people in high school Depending on the size of your school, there could be three, four, five thousand kids. So there's a lot of people. It is kind of overwhelming. And so to be honest, when you're in class, you can't really talk in class. So it's kind of hard to meet people, especially if you're new. Like 
maybe these people aren't interested in what you are in. So if you do an activity or a club, you will find some friends. And I decided to join the high school cheer team because I was a competitive cheerleader. I'm gonna give it a try. So I did the high school cheer team. Now, it had its ups and downs. It was a really good way to interact with people. Throughout all of the hard things that you have to deal with in high school, or just life in general, there was just kind of that group of people that I was able to, you know, go to if I needed someone. And that was a way, like, if I didn't do the cheer team, I wouldn't have met people. Like, I wouldn't have been able to meet as many people. So sophomore year and the little bit of junior year that I went to, all my friends were on the cheer team. All my friends did like continue doing the cheer team and it kind of left me al very alone. But definitely clubs and all that is something that can get you involved with the school and find people that you actually like and not be a loner in the hallways. Having to call your dad. Look, so you actually don't look like you're completely a loner. You'll be like, hey, what's good, daddy -o? Stay as far as you can away from any drama, any rumors, any pointless shit that's gonna cause stress on you, yourself, and yourself. Don't waste your time talking about who, who kissed who, who slept with who, who doesn't do this, who does that, who does this, who gives a crap what anyone does these days, ay ay ay. Like it just gives me anxiety. Stop spreading that you get laid every two seconds. When you don't, you probably are just insecure about your small dick, you feel me? <laughs> just kidding. I'm sorry, I know chill. Like a domino effect for no reason, like in four years, none of this stuff's gonna matter. Even though we're all in this vicinity together, most likely when we graduate, we're gonna all go our separate ways. Something that is really important for everyone in high school, I feel like is to just don't make snooty, rudy, patootie remarks even if you're joking because everyone goes through things in high school especially because this is when we're growing, we're transitioning into pe like grown ups, like adults, puberty, all that shit that's awkward, we got braces. I would make fun of myself but only because people would kind of make rude remarks at me but they'd be like haha didn't you're so dumb. But you still my friend though. Someone would see my test score and I mean I was cool with this person but they would be like ha ha ha. Oh my god like if you don't get this question right you're probably going to be working at McDonald's. Cool. Would you like fries with your stupid ass milkshake of a joke like before I shake your freaking brain out the fucking door. I don't even know. Who cares about the stupid tests that high school makes you take sometimes and determines what you're going to be? Because none of that shit matters. You get to choose your own path that you want to take in the end. In high school, I was someone that really did complain about math and chemistry and history because I was like, when the hell am I going to need this when I want to do this? I don't necessarily think that high school is really meant for us to necessarily learn that stuff. Obviously, they're giving us lessons that might not be the most interesting things in life. But in reality, high school is really not about any of that. High school is about getting put in situations and getting put into things that you might not want to do. And throughout life, when you get older, you're going to have to deal with things and people that you don't like. But with high school, you go, you have to go every single day, do this for a certain amount of months. It's teaching us in the end to really just stick through it, you know? Work hard or not so hard if you really don't want to, like whatever. It really is teaching us life lessons um, whether we realize it or not, like, since I've been out of high school, I'll realize little things that teachers taught us that really 
is something that you do need in the real world. Maybe you're not going to remember anything about Lewis and Clark, who knows. But it's funny because the littlest things that your teachers will say is the stuff that you really do need. Do your work, get through it, push through it because once you're finished, once you hit that finish line, it is go time and no, the world does not get any easier. But you can always tell yourself, you know what, I got through it. Maybe you're going to run into some kids that you don't like or some kids that are going to try competing with you, but in the real world, you're going to run into the same stuff. Someone's going to want the same position as you. But you have to also fight for it. Maybe you're not going to be best friends with that person. But that stuff that you kind of get a little taste of in high school. But just know that you can do it. I took one of those tests. That test told me I was going to be a construction worker. Or something like that. And yes, in LA, I'll wear my Timberlands. Like my big bulky shoes. And people will ask me on the street like, are you a construction worker? Do you do that construction? That's probably the closest I've ever came to being a construction worker. And that test really didn't mean anything to me at all. And I did not listen to it clearly because now I'm actually following my dreams and live in LA and doing a lot of things that a lot of people told me I wouldn't be able to do. But that's just because I did not listen to anything that they said. No matter what anyone says, you are in charge of you. And whether you want to allow people to walk all over you and do that, that's all up to you. But you just got to be like, you know what? I own this hallway. I'm going to walk through like I'm freaking Beyonce. And one day, you know what? Maybe I will be Beyonce. And maybe you will. Maybe low-key want to hit me up and ask to hang out or ask how I'm doing like you actually care. Because now that I'm actually important, you know, you actually want to give me the time of day. But you know what? Now the roles are reversed because I really don't want to give you the time of day at all. Just know that you're not alone. Everyone goes through things. School sucks sometimes. And you can really, you really can get through it. We're all in this together. I know that you guys are going to be destined of amazing things. And I'm really, 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 really proud of you for getting this far. If you are in high school or if you are in middle school or if you've graduated, I just want you to say congratulations, really, seriously, I'm proud that you were able to get through it and if you think that you can't, I know that you can. But that's all I want to say. Make sure that you do your homework, make sure you go to class, and make sure you walk those hallways like you own it, because you do own it. You own yourself, so you better freaking work what your mama gave you. Guys, make sure to follow me on all my social media links, I'll have everything linked down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's gonna be a lot more videos like this soon and I'll talk to you guys next time, bye! We're all in this together Once you know, I don't know the words at all